everybody, Joe here. I am back again, and it is the first Wednesday of a brand new month. You already know what that means. It's time for some pickups. What did I buy in the month of October? Well, watch and find out. Gonna start off, I have a few games here that are carrying over from last month's theme. I bought a lot of games from the Castlevania series last month, and this month, no different. Well, a little different, because I didn't get all Castlevania games. I only got three of them here, and that is the Castlevania Classic NES Edition. I've got seven or eight of the Classic NES games. I'm probably gonna try for the whole set eventually. I know rgt 85 is doing that, too. I'm just gonna go for loose carts. I think he might be going for the box copies. And another Castlevania game is Area of Sorrow. Now I have all four of the Castlevania games that were published on the GBA. And the next game here is a reproduction cart, because I could no way in heck afford the real deal. And that is a copy of Castlevania Dracula X on the Super Nintendo. Love to have the real deal, but I can't afford that. Next up, another Super Nintendo game. Got it for about retail, unfortunately, but I can't complain because it's a good game, and that is Illusion of Gaia. I've actually never played it. Looks cool. I've heard great things. Next up, I'm going to show you some thrift store finds. Pretty much every single Wednesday, I hit this one thrift store, and it's very much a crapshoot what I find. And last two times, I think I came out kind of okay. I'm going to show you three PS2 games that I got just this past week, which I only paid 99 cents a game for. I actually went in not expecting to find anything I didn't even bring, but like, I think I only brought like uh, 20 with me and ended up only spending 11 bucks on these three games and the tripod that's on my left here, which is now part of my lighting rig. You'll notice I'm still working on adjusting my lighting and hopefully it'll look better. I'm hoping to be able to actually record my videos anytime, day or night. I was relying on sunlight a little bit because over here I have a window. And now I've got three LED blocks going so I could probably record anytime, day or night and look relatively decent. I know my last video the lighting was probably a little wacky, but I think I'm getting the balance down a little better. But anyway, on to these games. Another bowling game for the collection, you know me and my bowling games. Bowling games and pinball games are some weird thing that I always liked. And this is Strike Force Bowling, not really don't know anything much about it, but hey, it's one for the collection. Another one, this one I do know a little bit about, and you should too, and that's Soul Calibur 3. Soul Calibur series is a pretty cool weapons fighting game. And lastly, Frogger the Great Quest. This is probably like a, you know, a throwaway, a uh, bit of shovelware. But you know what? I got these three things for 99 cents. That's, you know, nothing to sneeze at. And, okay, this one I paid, I think, four bucks for the week before, I believe it was. The week before or two weeks before. And not complaining one bit because it's complete and in pretty good shape. And that is a... Uh, Call of Duty Finest Hour. Not a Call of Duty fan, not one bit, but here is a nice, very good condition copy of Finest Hour. Like I said, it was four bucks. Not gonna sneeze at that, not gonna complain. And this was 15 bucks, and I was like, hey, why not take the chance? Didn't have a battery in it, didn't come with a charger, but I spent, I spent another 8 bucks on eBay, got them within a couple days. So I've got a fat PSP. This is the uh, 1001 version. So now I have the 2001 and the 1001. And it's in very good shape. A little scuffing on the screen. I tried to buff it out as best I could. But it works. Works well. I've already yeah, done everything that I did with my other one. Hacked the hell out of it. Found a good version of MAME so I could run some arcade games. This is kind of an odd one. This is a late addition to uh, the pickups video. This is a weird one. I 
along with, you know, scouring eBay on a semi-regular basis, I do spend a lot of time looking over shopgoodwill.com and that's an even bigger crapshoot than eBay or going out in the wild. Sometimes they really overcharge on shipping. This, on the other hand, was something I found interesting and I was like, what the hell, let's do it. And they had, someone was selling on Shop Goodwill the box to the special edition Bioshock 2. Has everything in it except the game, but you know what? I already had the game, so I pretty much completed it. And uh, it's just very cool looking. There's a vinyl record in here. The vinyl is still sealed. The, the, sound, the CD still sealed. I don't know if there was ever cellophane wrapping the art book in here, but it's in here. That's not sealed. I don't know if it ever was. Everything in here is in awesome shape. Not going to complain there. Also, I'm going to show you one last thing this month. The last couple months I've been collecting these and I haven't shown them because I wanted to give them their own standalone video, which I totally will because there's only two more of them that I need to have the full set and I will be getting them. It's going to be a little costly for one of them, but totally, totally going to be cool because I don't know anybody else who's into this stuff and to have it and have it working is neat. I mean, you may have seen that I've got some boxes up here. And I have been working on a complete set of the Milton Bradley Microvision. This box is kind of roached, but I've got Microvision. That works. And I've got most of the games for it up here. Only 12 games were ever released for the system. And I am currently at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them. So... We'll be talking about that at a later time. But just to get your attention, and if you've been wondering about that stuff over my shoulder, that's what it is. That's what it's all about. And you'll be seeing a lot more of it in maybe a month, maybe two. We'll see. I got to do a little uh, internet hunting for uh, games, especially since that very last one never came out in the U.S., so that's probably a bit uncommon. Hope you've enjoyed these pickups from the month of October. I will probably be back shortly with uh, a little something, not a review, but a little how-to type deal related to a subject that brought a lot of viewers to my channel already. So that'll be coming soon. I do have another review in the works as well. That'll probably come out sometime later in the month of November. Anyway, again, once again, Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.